Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and today we're going to take a look at my squad that I've been using to get from Division 10 uh, up to Division 3. Obviously, if you've seen the last video where I featured Hullet or I did the Hullet review, there have been a couple of tweaks since that team. Um, but I think when I would, I think at the time of that review, I might have been in Division 5 or 6, something like that. But now we've made it to Division 3 and we are starting to slowly progress up to division 1 maybe get to elite division we'll see how uh, we'll see how the next few weeks goes but um but yeah this is the team that i've been using um if anyone's interested so the the squad is coming in at about 2 million coins just just a touch over 2 million coins but obviously you can if you was looking to build something a little bit different um and you've got about 2 or 3 mil this this is this is an interesting setup. Obviously, you've got some meta players in there. You know, you've got Hullet, you've got Hakimi in Pembe, you've got um, Alfonso Davis at left back. So like, you've got some really super meta teams, but you've also got some interesting cards in there, in the team as well. So this team seems to be performing really well in the four four two. So this is how we actually do play in game. Um, I'll just go through the, the, the tactics. So this is how we start out in game. We usually try and stick with this setup as much as we can. But obviously, if we start going a goal behind, we'll switch into the more attacking formations. And then if we go, um, if we go like two, three nil up, we'll just sort of put in defensive and just sort of see the game out. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting team. So you know, you can, you, you got it's to me it's crazy that these players are getting overlooked like Lewandowski. You know, this to me, it, I think this year uh, the big strikers is their year. So you've got Haaland, Lukaku, uh, Benzema, Lua. There's there's so many strikers that just seem to be getting overlooked and they're so cheap. Like Lewandowski's forty thousand coins. I mean, it's for the fourteenth of October, so. The market is a little bit on the floor right now, but forty thousand coins for a ninety-two rated striker is crazy. Um, obviously, on the flip side of that, you have got a player like Gary Lineker, who, in my opinion, might be the best uh, sub six hundred k striker in the game. Um, I just think he's fantastic. He's got the the face cards that say all oh, the skill moves. Don't don't worry about that. The skill moves aren't really a thing this year. Um, it's more about the left stick dribbling and the one twos and the wing play. So, you know, he's got fantastic base stats. He's absolutely cracked. Um, great card for less than 600k. You're not going to find a better icon with these stats for 600k. Um, obviously, Hull is going to eat into the budget. If you are looking to build a team that's about two or three million, he's going to cost. You know, at least half that or a third of that cost, because he is going for just over a touch over a million coins right now. Um, De Maria really surprised. I'm really I was I was pleasantly surprised with him. I didn't think he would be much uh, of much use, but again, his finesse shots. Even though he doesn't have the finesse shot trait, he's got the 91 curve and the 86 long shots, which is basically the finesse shot trait in itself. Because his shooting is crazy. He's Fantastic for nine thousand coins. You cannot go wrong with Di Maria, and of course you've got the strong link into Ashraf Hakimi. Now, you don't necessarily need to go and pick up this one to watch, but I think this will be a fantastic investment. The way the way Hakimi is playing at PSG at the moment, he's definitely going to get an inform or an upgrade because obviously PSG are obviously you know they're they're without a doubt the best team in that league. So whether they win or if Ashraf gets uh, an inform he's going to get upgraded regardless so i think for 390k yes it's a bit steep at this point in the game but i think it's a worthwhile investment but i actually managed to pack him untradeable so i got super lucky and got him untradeable um just moving on to the back line and we'll get around to the rest of the squad but yeah moving on to the back line kimpembe is the best defender in this game i don't care what anyone says kimpembe is the best defender on this game I don't know what EA have done to him, but he just wins everything. No one gets past him. He's absolutely ridiculous. And for 57,000 coins, he is an absolute steal. Um, yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on here. Uh, Kaylon Avas. He's been a little bit fraudulent, but I really need him for the uh, 
for the chemistry, but maybe maybe his inform will perform a bit better than his uh, regular gold car. So I'll have to have to try that out when I get some more coins. Um, we'll we'll see what he's like, but for the time being, he's he's okay. I think I'll I think I'll go goal, goalkeepers are a little bit fraudulent. I've, I've noticed that Allison and Donnarumma make the least amount of mistakes in the games that I've played. So those keepers seem like they're the best two on the game. Uh, Navas isn't that bad, but again, he's a little bit fraudulent for an 88-rated keeper. Um, this guy, this guy came out yesterday in Team of the Week number four, and look at the state of him. Just look at the state of him. No one is beating him. He's absolutely rapid, and he got a plus nine on his defending, and a plus 119 games that upgrade. That is absolutely ridiculous. He's got physicals for days. He's got defending for days. He's absolutely rapid, decent agility. Obviously, you know he's got the ball control, dribbling, composure. He can pass. He's just he looks incredible for 81 rated. The only downside to this, to having him in this setup. Is that he only gets seven chemistry, but he'll get on to eight after ten games. Uh, but yeah, Josko is it Josko Josho Josko Josko Guardiola Guardiola mate Guardiola Josko Guardiola fifty no thirty four k. He's going for thirty four k. I think he's going to be a steal for thirty four k. People are paying like twenty something for Lacroix. And uh, I think he's going to be better. I think he, I genuinely think he's going to be better because he's got the ball control, he can pass, and he's just absolutely daft. Um, Alfonso Davis, probably probably the best left back in the game. He's just so fast, and the recovery on this guy is phenomenal. It's all about speed on the fullbacks. I don't care what anyone says. These two at fullback. Well, are just crazy because even though their defensive stats aren't that high, because they're so fast, all you have to do is just track the get track the man and run into him, and they'll just take the ball. The game will help you take the ball off the man just by running into him. So, you know, in, in the game, these two are probably the best for it, which is probably why they cost so much. Um, Kingsley Coleman, he is someone that I am looking to upgrade at some point. I mean. I don't think he's that good. Obviously, his shooting abilities are very limited, but he's got great dribbling and great pace. Um, okay, passing, but I just don't think I just don't think he's it on this game. He's got the, he's got the skill moves and the weak foot. The weak foot could be better, but I just don't think he's that good for an eighty-six rated card. I really just don't think he is. Whereas Denis Zakaria. on the other hand, is a fantastic card. He just looks like an absolute psychopath. Just slap a hunt a shadow on him, and he's just business. He's just the business, mate. He'll just sweep up on aisle nine all day long, no problem. Um, and for fifty seven k, I think he's an absolute bargain. He's just an absolute steal for fifty seven k. Um, probably one of the best midfielders in the Bundesliga you can buy right now. Some people don't really seem to rate Kimmich, but I'm, I might try him out over the next week or so. See what Kimmich is like. But as as it stands, Zachariah is is too good to drop. He's just he's just there. He's just everywhere. He's so fast. He's so he's he's so uh, aggressive in getting the ball back. He's absolutely brilliant. And yes, this is a subspent. So you you obviously want someone uh, who's quick and can finish. So we've got Anderson Taliska and Sulemana on the bench. Sulemana is probably one of the best cards I've used. Like not even a joke. He's so good at getting forward, and his finesse shots, even it, even though his stats don't suggest it, his finesse shots are, are, are broken. And considering he's right-footed, I've scored so many goals cutting in, cutting in uh, on the left because I swapped him out for Di Maria in game. But cutting in on the left with his four-star weak foot, you would actually think he's left-footed. He's that good. And um, so if you if you if you did complete this uh, objective card. You'll know what I'm talking about. He's absolutely cracked. And uh, a bit of a shout out to on Cuckoo. Um, he's also a fantastic card. A great box to box player. Um, he can do it all. And I think he's what is he like 40, 50k? He's forty eight thousand coins, and I think that's a steal. I think that's an absolute steal for forty eight thousand coins. You know, he's got the medium, medium, four star skill news. Yes, the weak foot is lacking. 
But he, he's got the passing ability, he's got the dribbling, and he's got decent speed on him, and he can kind of defend. So I actually do rate him. I think he's a good player, plus he's got finesse up trait. But um, yeah, <clears throat> we'll jump into a couple of games of Division 3. Um, I have just been promoted. I just beat someone 6-3 and got the rage quit. So we'll jump into a game of Division 3. We'll see how the team performs. And uh, yeah, well, I'll give you my thoughts <clears throat> after. We'll, we'll play like two or three games. We'll see if this team is up to the standard um, that Division 3 probably requires. He's got Robbie, Robbie Keane. And he's done the Pedro SBC. That's an, he's got a ZH. This is quite an interesting team for Division 3. I haven't actually faced some of these players before. Kim Pembe! Kim Pembe! Zachariah, come on. Come on, Dennis, mate. He can do it all, this lad. He's got, he's got it all in abundance. I'm on the ropes for a minute then. Come on, Hakimi. Where's the recovery? Fuck's sake. Fuck off. Come on. Hakimi redeemed himself. Lovely work. Just get down the line and f um, do a driven pass into the box. Gold for days. Oh, referee, grow a set. Grow a set. How can he blow half time there? I'm on the counter. Oh, God, this game should be. We should be. We should be up to. A, well, we are up to, but we have scored two. But we should be up a few more. We should be have. A, we should have about three here. expected goals. Two point five. Got to be doing better. Right, how's his Robbie Keane scoring from that angle? But my Lewandowski can't do anything. Lineker. See! Come on, big gazer. Come on. What a... What a... Oh, that is rude. How has he got that? Genuinely, how has he got that ball? Fuck's sake. Fucking done him there on the wing and he's got a goal from from literally nothing. Fucking bury it. Come on, Lewin Dasky. Lower. Lewin Golski, mate. Player. Oh, he's had enough. He's seen enough. He's got off. See you later, pal. See you later. That was the correct result. Don't even get it twisted. Look at the possession. Look at the shots. Pass is completed. The dribbling. The passing. The shot accuracy could have been better. Expected goals. We were we were almost matching it. Look at the passes. Absolute plays, mate. That's an interesting team. That's a very quick back line. Got a few meta players in. Panicking here. Oh, come on, game. What's that? What the hell is that? Oh, he's gone down the middle, you little shit. King, come on, Holly. Come on. Come on, Rude. Turns up. That's why he's a million coins. Tell me what other player can do that. Yes, Guardiola. 
Are you taking the piss? Are you taking the piss? I genuinely don't understand how I'm losing. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kingsley. I slated you in the squad review when we were talking about you. Said you couldn't finish, but you obviously are today. Finishing your dinner every time. That's going to be, yeah, that's half time. This is so frustrating. I feel like I'm, I'm obviously not, I'm not hitting my regular standard here. My, my, my gameplay, I'm just making stupid decisions, which is causing the goals, uh, causing me to concede the goals. But how am I not winning this game? Off the game. Look at that, look at that, look at that, he's dancing around my players like they're not even there, like he got fucking Pelly. How am I losing to this clown? Fuck off. Take that, you piece of shit. Like I should be, I feel like I should have about six goals here. I bring on Anderson Talisk. Taliska. Alright. So come on. What a ball. What a ball. Hopefully he's losing his head now. Hopefully he's losing his head now. Sue! Sue Lamana, man. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Don't... I did warn you. I did say. I did say. You lot, you lot need to find a way to get to get this brother into your squads. Mate, should we go for the hat trick for Sulamana here? Eh? Oh my god, dude. What a crazy game that was. But it was the right result. The right result. We absolutely destroyed him. He got... I, I mean, I need to look at the goals before I say he got lucky with his goals. But that was the right outcome there. But can can we just... Oh, mate. Wait, mate. He's, he already got a hat-trick. When... Wait, what? Ah, yeah. Because we sweated it. Yes, take that. Take that. Get in the bin. Mate, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. It's like he's, it's like his normal foot is left. His preferred foot's left foot. What silver card can do that? Name it. Name name another silver card that can do this. Look at the whippage on that. Absolutely sensational. And then he does it again. Can you believe it? Can you actually believe it, mate? Right, watch, watch this from the other angle. Look, watch the whippage on this. Just call him Mister Whippy, mate, when you go to the ice cream van because he he he's got sensational finesse. Look at it. Pick that out. Pick that out. Right, game number three. Game number three. We've won the last two. Um, obviously the first I think the first one we played better in we made some silly mistakes but the second game I felt like I was playing EA Sports Vancouver for a minute then that is a sweaty back line making silly mistakes again already that stupid mistake cost me a goal 
And what's Kim Pembe doing? What's going on? I can't even select the right man. Fucking Phil Foden's turned into Prime R9. What the, f what the hell's going on? Finally, we got one back. Sulamana. Come on. How is... How is... Come on. There we go. Anderson Taliska, stand up. Of course, it hits his own face and takes it out for a goal kick. Why wouldn't it? Why, 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 why wouldn't it hit his own face? I don't believe this. I don't believe I've just not. I mean, <sighs> Division 3, in it? One, the, the, the players are going to be better. And secondly, apparently there's more bullshit going on in Division 3. Because what is that gameplay? What was that gameplay? <sighs> God, I tell you what, I'm, gl I'm glad I'm glad this video was done, because that stressed me out. Those three games just stressed me out, but we've not lost yet in Division 3, so I'm quite happy, I'm quite happy about that. Um, look at the menus, the menus are lagging. Oh, I've got some crap objectives on here. But yeah, my, um, my overall thoughts are that, obviously today, the servers underwent, I think the did some maintenance to the servers or something and it seems to have absolutely broken the game um but you know even in even in broken gameplay this team still managed to to grind out a result um i think Lineker and Sulemana paired up really well on that right hand side um Coleman chipped in with a couple of goals which was which was nice he doesn't always do that so i was quite surprised for him to get on the score sheet a couple of times um, these two were decent in midfield, just bossing it as usual. Um, that last game, Kim Pembe for that Foden goal was ab just out of mare, but it's weird because he is normally solid as out. Um, Guardiola, I thought he was, to be honest with you, I thought he was going to come in and just absolutely just solidify the defence, but we're still on edge, but I don't know if that's just me just not being great at defending this year or if... Guardiola or Josco Guardiola isn't performing well, but it's only been three games, so we're gonna continue. And you know, if we need to improve in certain areas, we will do. Still letting in goals, still letting in goals with the uh, informed Navas. So I'm not sure he's actually worth it to be completely honest with you. But you know, everyone else did really well. Anton Taliska as always performing. Um. But yeah, for for about two point two million coins, it's a decent team. Obviously, you could improve it if you've got a bit more, bit more of a, bit, you know, if you've got a better budget. I, you know, we'd definitely get Di Maria out of the team. Maybe get Messi in or get George Best, someone like that. Even JJ Kocha would do a job out there. Um, but yeah, that is everything. Um, yeah, that is that is that's that's it. Team did well. Division three is quite hard. Um, but yeah, if you've uh, if you're interested to see the tap, you know the in-depth tactics that I use, I can do a video on that and sort of show some some examples of how how they work and um, and and all of that sort of good stuff. But um, yeah, that's it for today. And uh, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.